Um, Matthew Oliver's, um, before you don't know how did it all start? Where did you come from? Where were you born? Originally, I, I come from Hampshire, uh -huh. but I have lived around the country. I then grew up in Cornwall, and then I spent some time in the Midlands, and then I eventually uh, found myself living in Carlisle, which was a great experience, uh -huh. before I moved to London many years ago, and uh, worked for the BBC for many years. Okay. How did you get into the BBC? Is that well, Hampshire? Was it what, sorry? Connect family connections? Or? Oh, no, absolutely not. No nepotism for, for me. Um, I uh, was working at the local government association yeah. and they wanted someone who could speak about particularly crime and terrorism. And my third day of the job actually was 9 11. So it was a time that I spent uh, a lot of my activities at BBC looking at issues surrounding terrorism and crime, particularly. Uh, and it was an interesting period to, to work there in that kind of environment. Uh, exciting and interesting, obviously. Well, he said it was, and uh, we continue to live in an age where we do face threats on a pretty much on a regular basis, and so it was a good grounding to certainly have knowledge of, of what was happening around the world, and certainly having an uh, almost an insight into um, certain images and films people were producing that weren't uh, broadcast. And so I got to see a lot of behind the scenes stuff. Before. Sure. Taking a step further back, when did you first get interested in politics? Was that a university or a junior? Your school years? When, no, no, when I was at university, I was interested in politics, and that's when I first joined the Conservative Party. Mm -hmm. And uh, I was a member from then onwards, but never considered it as a career. I was never particularly interested. But then did end up working for the Conservative Party, and, and uh, my recollection is that someone said to me, Do you want to be an MP? And I said to him, quite honestly, I've never even considered it. But then I started to. <laughs> and the rest is history. Well, so, so. I wouldn't say it was an easy history, but uh, it went from there. All right. Turn to more local issues. Um, what are you passionate about in your constituency and for, for Barnet? For me personally, mm -hmm. and for the constituency, is education and aspiration. And that's something that I feel very strongly about. Uh, I didn't go to private school. Um, I certainly didn't have the silver spoon, as, as, as you alluded earlier, the nepotism in, in, in my work life. And so I, I want people to have the best opportunities they yeah. can. And I came from a background, particularly growing up in Cornwall, that access to things like education wasn't very easy. Yeah. And so uh, I'm, I'm very, I was very determined that I was going to get a, a university education eventually. And, and I achieved that. So in terms of policy at the moment, presumably you support the free schools mm -hmm. and, and, and but in Barn and some, but what do you specifically want to see in Barn? Is it more schools, more opportunity, different types of schools? What, what do you see? Well, you mentioned, out, you yeah. mentioned free schools, yeah, and yeah. we've been successful here in, in constituency end and uh, having at least two, mm -hmm. and uh, we've, we've got more coming. I, I support anyone who provides a good education for children um, yeah. in whatever forms, be it through the Saracens Rugby Club, be it through a local yeah. Jewish school, yeah. be it through uh, the, the Muslim school in West Hendon. Yeah. For me, it doesn't matter who's producing that education as long as children okay. are being offered an opportunity through education. And outside of, of, of education, what other issues are you passionate about? Well, certainly I mentioned crime earlier, but uh, it remains a big issue for many people, mm -hmm. particularly within the Jewish community. People feel very much under threat when incidents happen in the Middle East. Yeah. But generally, the fear of crime and, and terrorism, um, we still remain on a heightened alert in, in, this, in this country, and particularly in London. And so there, there are always issues of concern to my constituents. Okay. Now, um, getting to, getting to um, more local, um, talking about the constituency uh, and Edgeware and so on, what exactly can the, the constituents of those particular areas look forward to seeing? I think you mentioned something about before about Mill Hill Broadway, so actually looking yeah. for some change there, aren't you? Well, here in Mill Hill Broadway now, and uh, many local people want step free access, they want a lift installed uh, yeah. at the Templing station. Now, Templing has gone through a six and a half, or was going through a six and a half billion pound program. Yeah. Um, the service isn't what it should be, uh -huh. um, but the infrastructure has been introduced, uh, and that will improve the service over the next three to four years. And as part of that, local people want to be able to access the station. Now, a lot of people, including myself, use Templing to go up to Luton and down to Gatwick, so when flying out, yeah. they have heavy suitcases. Um, parents have children with buggies. Yeah. Those people who use the wheelchair aren't able to access the station. So that's the one, number one priority certainly in this area. Further across the constituency, we've already mentioned schools, um, but certainly regeneration in the area, making sure that we get the right services that come with the regeneration, yeah. meaning doctor surgery, meaning transport links, and everything that goes with that, to ensure that they come at the right time so the local people that aren't undue by the regeneration program. Yeah. Okay. Um, 
What is the most frustrating thing about becoming or being a member of Parliament <laughs> on a day-to-day basis? Um, making things happen quickly. Yeah. Uh, that's the problem with politics. Everything takes so long. And uh, go back to the step react, it's taking a long time. A lot of people have to be involved. Yes. The difference yeah. between business and politics is in business, someone decides what's going to happen and then tells their employees and they make it happen. Yes. And if they don't, then they probably sack their employees. Yeah. The difference in politics is you have to take people with you. And sometimes it's a case of persuading, discussing it with them, arguing your cause, uh, and then getting everyone on board to, to achieve what you, you want to, to make happen. And it takes time. Sure. Um, okay. Um, but how do you like being an MP? Is there something about the Westminster Village you like, or the constituency on the What is it? Which is something you like? Well, apart from what, what actually I think. Um, yeah. Sometimes they are frustrating. <laughs> Sometimes annoying, yeah. sometimes challenging, yeah. uh, and sometimes people tell you things uh, or their experiences are almost heartbreaking, but they're never boring, yeah. and that's that's the best part. And I certainly like going around the constituency um, yeah. and meeting people. Yeah. Uh, I like um, going around the schools, particularly seeing not only how the children are learning, but also hearing their experience of education. And when they, they visit Parliament, I, I go and see them at the end of their tour, and, and that's quite good. I can recognise a lot. Um, so for me, the people are the greatest part. And it is very interesting to be involved in issues that where I have the opportunity to question the Prime Minister or other members of the Cabinet, without a doubt. And it's yeah. interesting putting issues to them that you want to see changes. Yeah. Uh, but again, it's always a very slow process to, to try and make change within government. Yeah. But it, it is, it is um, quite um, interesting and rewarding to be able to, to be involved in that process. Sure. You must mention the Prime Minister. What about your own personal ambitions? Can you, see, can you see yourself in, in perhaps a, in a, in a I'm not, I'm, I'm, I'm not going to mention the health secretary, but I mean, you could become the health secretary by the way. Who knows? But I mean, I mean, can you see yourself perhaps holding a cabinet post at some point? Well, it, it's not my decision. It's, it's yeah. for would you like to? Well, it would yeah. be nice to have a job. I certainly yeah. am always working the executive side when I was deputy leader of the council. So yeah. making those decisions then was always, yeah. was always a very rewarding yeah. thing to do. Uh-huh. Um, uh, that's for others to decide, but at the minute I'm very happy representing the decisions in the moment. Okay, so Turkish, Turkish Days comes out. Absolutely. Now, outside of Parliament, you enjoy sailing. Do you, you have time for anything else? Well, I don't, have, that, I don't yeah. have that much time to go sailing, to be honest. Yeah. Um, I do like sailing. I, I, I very much like the freedom, certainly, of being out in the sea. Yeah. Um, and I like the challenge of uh, being responsible for yourself on, on, a, on a ship. Yeah. Um, I also like scuba diving. I'm a technical scuba diving. Uh-huh. So, uh, again, I like that, so deciding how you're going to achieve that problem. I mean, diving to a certain depth and staying there for a certain amount of time. Yeah. How you're going to safely come back up. The yeah. same as with sailing. I like yeah. to sail out so I decide how I'm going to get to my destination safely and then return again. Well, it's like life, isn't it? Sailing. Well, perhaps, perhaps, perhaps you have sailing. more decisions than the same thing too. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe, yeah. So, um, what do you hope to achieve by, say, this time next year as far as the local constituency is concerned? Mm-hmm. Well, there are some things more on a regional basis to uh, negotiate the passage of the EU referendum. Yeah. Uh, people have a, a lot more opportunity to decide whether they want to stay in Europe or they want to come out of it. We certainly work with the local council on some of the local issues in the past, particularly surrounding the libraries uh, and always issues around parking and people can send it. Oh, yes. Yeah. That old chestnut that was a problem, wasn't it? Indeed. Okay, um, Matthew, thank you very much for your time. You met on this morning on TV. And um, good luck with the rest of the year. Thank you. That's all right. Good to see you.